unit on a walking to, uh, cooler um, before it's not cooling. Um, first thing you know, it's very quiet. Fans are running. Liquid line's cold. Compressor's got a little bit of heat to it. So I expect that's probably off on its internal um, brakes or something. Okay, and I have checked them. So we'll put some gauges on, see if we've got any pressure in there. Um, we might even recover it and weigh it because it should have six and a half kilos in there, and then we'll know. So we're not going to do anything until this resets. What I have done in the past is if you've got a load of liquid refrigerant you can dump it in through there and that'll cool the compressor down but obviously you don't want to fire it up through the liquid but I have done that in the past Well that is showing about five Four degrees minus four. Um, if it was on 404, it's on 407. That's the, in the ballpark, and the room's plus seven. So I would have expected that to be over here somewhere. So we may well have a gas leak. And this has been going on and off on the clicks and on the on the pressure switch. Sorry and uh, got so hot it's turned itself off one fifty which is plus twenty so that's not so bad and that's on the liquid line it's a newer one Stuff that. There, yeah, that's not good. So let's get the cover off and see what's going on. Right. First, I thought it was going to be where that pipe was there, rubbed out. I think that's okay. Then I saw the top of that cat. Um, let's come off from there. It's just split. Full and come, you know, snapped in half. Lost it now. But it's actually up here. So, yeah, that's got a leak. Not good. Oh, never seen that before, then. Cap split. Right, just check the um, windings of reset, so we're going to try and pump it down and so hopefully it'll run. Oh, just humming. I think we just had a hum then. 
with all that dead, which is not good. She might have seized up. <coughs> right, we've swapped a couple of phases, so I'll try and run the other way. At least that'll free it up. And we've got a clamp meter on one of the legs. Okay, back out here again. And we're going to change that valve for a brazing one. I think it's probably an R22 valve. And we're going to put this on 449A. So we might put a stub on the valve before we put it in here. I'll probably put a quarter inch stub in. And then put a connector down here, be easier than trying to brace it in here. And then we just got a solder adapter to go on here. It's got a bit of a twist in it. When that's done up, that's just twisted that last bit of pipe. It was leaking around here. It's probably got a copper gasket in there. It's, uh, gone out of shape. Well, put that brazed in. Always put a rag around everything so you can't, you know, you could, you could melt that in a blink of an eye if you're not careful. Okay, that's that done. I'll put a cap on there. Uh, proper brass. Flare cap instead of one of these things with a rubber gasket. Is that a split? Okay, that's a new one on there. Gotta give these valves a clean out. A bit dirty. See that one. Just paint some of that in there. Give it a white man with a paper towel. Okay, got that <coughs> bolted on. Valve's done up. I'll put some spray grease around there because they were a bit rusty. Um, just so the nut would be free to tighten up. New dryer, sight glass. So we've got leak test it, vacuum, wire it up, and then change the contact from that far panel. MTZ50, the other one was an MT50. Right, got that from the vacuum. Try one of these. Uh, forget the make of them now. It doesn't make a difference. Um, I need to get some more fittings because I've, I've got an Affion hose as well, um, which is 3 8 I need a half inch one with a bend on the side so I can fit it in by the handle. Anyway. It's coming down pretty quick, especially for something that's used. Um, so I've got that on the suction, and I've still I've got the quarter inch one going through the gauges onto the receiver. So we're going to get the wires done, get the crankcase here put back in, and the contactor. We've got to change the contactor, but that's coming down pretty quick. Right, I've got three wires and then the earth wire. And in the time it's took me to do that, that's come down to five, six. Yeah, 
had a bit of a hunt around in here. Got a contact that's rated for 3 horsepower single phase and 10 horsepower three phase. Um, I was right on the top. It's easier just to see what they are. The same with the overloads I've got them from two and a half amps up to th um, 32. So I can pretty much cover most of the motors I'm going to be uh, working on. And then we've got an auxiliary contact. It's got two normally closed, which is what we need uh, for that one up there. It's uh, that one. <coughs> Draining that oil out, it's kind of a bit milky looking. Um, so I know this has had moisture in it in the past. And we've changed changing the side glass, got a new one in there, I mean that's gone green now. Um, we've put a new one in there because the old ones had so much moisture to go through, it's washed the colour in the game, chemical out of the side glass, so yeah that does look really milky. That was due an oil change anyway, so get that done. It does 2000, that, that oil has gone a bit milky looking again. So I think we'll change it again. Right, we've got that down to 25. Um, you want a 26, so. Um, Let's change the oil in the back pump three times because it had moisture in it. Um, I think we might come back and change the oil in the compressor once it's run for a while. Maybe change, uh, change the dryer as well, probably. And we'll run it for a week or two. Like I said, it's had a lot of moisture in it previously. But you shut the pump off, it goes up to about. It only went up a couple of hundred and sort of stabilised, so I think we've got most of it, if this is accurate. Um, I think it has to get to about 4,000 uh, for it to have a lot of moisture still in there. It's got a bit yellow again, so it's still got a bit of moisture in it. It's on, four, it's on 404 because this hasn't got 449A in it, but we're running about 18 degrees super heat on the suction valve. So it's probably a lot far off. That's nice and cool. Still got the old 22 valve in there. Um, I think it might want opening up a bit. The boom's still a bit warm, so I might leave it as is. It's good enough. Um, so I'll come back in a week or so and change the oil in the compressor. And then we can. Uh, the boom's been down for a day or two, so they're keen to get it work, you know, cold again. So uh, once, it's, once the pressure's off, we can come back and tweak it and adjust it. I might even change, suggest we change that barrel for a brazing one. 